Hello students, in previous video you have seen the mirror problem concept and the same thing we are going to solve it with the help of a solid edge software. In this case there is a mirror which is 13 to 40 inclined to the wall, the same problem I will just go for rectangle by two points. So the width is 40, enter height is 30, angle is 0. So I will be trying to place it little bit below this. As soon as you create a model, give its dimensions so that we need to rectify come out of any error. So this is 30, this is 40. I have already prepared it in the previous video. I just uh, select those annotations, Control C, Control V, Control C, Control V try to keep the annotations nearer to the corners now I'm going to project this so this is thin line so top view is going to be thick line so I'll be ending it in order to reduce the time I'm just going to copy it from Control C, Control V. Now, in front view, it looks like a square. So, I'll just take the rectangle by two points. I'll move the cursor to here. You can see this dotted. So, this is width is 20, height is sorry 30, height is 30. Now I'll select the annotations and drag it. So I'm going to give the dimensions. So which is 30. I'll give for the prefix. So, so click on the dimensions. Go for prefix. Go for square. OK. So I'm going to do this uh, in these lines. So from this point I'm projecting it this should be thin lines now go for lines thin lines so start from here end it here itself now go for arc by center point move to this end point this length is 40 so cut a radius of 40 enter so now i'll go for even I can go with the more or draw a line. It'll drawing a line is easier. So select this point. Move to this line to this point. You should be getting the intersection symbol. So this should be 0.5. Then I trim this excess lines. Go to angle between. This is nothing but true inclination with respect to VP. That is nothing but 5. So press control and drag this annotations. So that is nothing but copy and paste. Now we need to make the longer side perpendicular to HP and VP. So press control. I'm just showing it as a reference. You need not change the color. I'm changing it for your reference. Now this is the longer side. I need to make it perpendicular. So, rotating a square 90 degrees will be again the square itself. So, I'll just go for here, move, select this point, here, paste it, right click, go to rotate, just because I have changed the color orientation. Now, you can see that this is the longer sides. So longer side is nothing but a dash b dash. So I can tilt clockwise or anti-clockwise directions. So I'll take this point. This is B. B C is the shorter edge. And C D is the longer edge. I'm going to project this. So this is point one three. Project it till here. So from here. 
I'll go for rectangle by points. I'll move to here, drag it till this where this end points. So this should be 0.5 thickness. So I'm going to trim this. So now go the projection of point A dash A is here. So since we're going to keep it on top here, it is without die. So it is going to be smaller to A. B is here, B point is here, C is here, C dash is here, then D point. So we have to show the five inclinations. Go for insert character. So this is a symbol phi select equals 41 degrees. Select control C. Click here control V. So this one need not be in this color, you can change it to black. It is just for your understanding purpose. Hope you understood how to solve it. Eat the solid edge. Have a good day.